What are the special features of Star Delta and Soft Starters? Hello. Hello, my name is Andreas Thomas. Load feeders, motor starters and soft starters have been accompanying me in my professional life for many years. Today in our motor start video series, I would like to introduce you to the special features of star delta and soft starters. I will focus less on specific products and more on the technological features of these completely different starter types. First of all, the products presented in our examples are intended exclusively for starting three-phase asynchronous motors. Particularly with larger drives, undesirable side effects occur when the motor is started directly. On the other hand, at the moment of switching on, a high power surge can strain the network of the energy supplier. On the other hand, the application is started with a high torque. This can severely damage the mechanics of the machine. If these side effects are not desired, they can be significantly reduced with the star delta combination. For this purpose, the three-phase motor is first started in star configuration and after acceleration to rated speed with delta configuration and full voltage continues to run. Only then the rated power of the motor can be reached. It is three times as large as with star configuration. Star delta starters are usually built up from commercially available contactors. Here you can see such a combination with mains, star and delta contactors. The condition for such a combination is that the beginning and end of the three motor windings are accessible and can be connected to the star delta starter via six lines. A typical application would be a large blower with a long starting time. The soft starter provides an alternative to the star delta starter. Ultimately, the purpose, similar to the star delta starter, is to reduce the starting current and torque. The only essential difference is that the technical implementation is carried out with power semiconductors, so-called turistors. With help of the phase angle method, these are controlled in such a way that the voltage rises continually during startup. This reduces both the current and the torque. After startup to rated speed, the turistors of modern soft starters are bridged by electromechanical switching contacts, which are already integrated in the starter. That way, the power dissipation of the semiconductors and thus the heat development in the device are significantly reduced. When the soft starter is being switched off, it works exactly the other way round. First, the electromechanical contactors are being opened. The turister takes over the current feed again and the voltage is slowly being reduced until it is completely switched off. The soft runout, which is not provided by all soft starters, is often used in pump applications. It prevents unwanted water hammering. A special feature is associated with the use of turistors. Since they cannot be galvanically isolated, a residual voltage remains on the outlet side even when switched off. In case this is not desired, an additional mains contactor is connected in line with the soft starter. The selection of parameterization of a soft starter can also be more complex, depending on the specific application and design. Special programs help the user to select and set the ideal device. Some devices, such as the Sirius 3RW55 soft starter, also offer self-parameterization, which makes commissioning much easier. Some power supply companies even require that the starting current of three-phase asynchronous motors be limited to a certain minimum, e.g. 4 kilowatts. These current peaks also play an important role in the calculation of the power purchase price and should be prevented. In doing so, it doesn't matter whether this is realized with a star delta circuit or a soft starter. In the next video, I'll introduce the comparison of soft starters and simple frequency converters. I look forward to welcoming you all again. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.